Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the extended single crochet stitch. We'll be practicing the stitch in rows for this lesson, but I want you to practice this and get something out of it versus just making a swatch that we don't know what to do with. So I will also be turning this into a washcloth. It's something we always need at my house and yours might be similar. Today I'll be using the We Crochet Dishy Cotton Yarn. It's perfect for this, as well as a 4.5 millimeter hook. And this hook is from the Dot series from We Crochet as well. And affiliate links are on my site and in the description of this video. Now I've gone ahead and chained 50. We're going to start by working in the very first chain from the hook. So whenever I'm working something that I want to be a rectangle or a square, I want my edges to be really sharp. So what, how I like to start my rows is with something called a stacked single crochet. So not the stitch we're learning today, but I want to show you how to do the stitch. If you don't want to, you can always do a chain two as a turning chain instead of doing it this way. But for this first row, I like to work in the back humps of my stitches. I find it creates a cleaner edge along the bottom of this project. And I will be inserting my hook into that back hump. And this is only for the first stitch of every row. We will be doing a stacked single crochet. So I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two. And yeah, 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 I know it looks like we just did a single crochet stitch because we did. However, I'm going to insert back into the left bar that we just created here, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Now we've completed the stacked single crochet. It makes a really straight edge and a cleaner look to our project. Grab a stitch marker because when doing the stack single crochet, we'll often work around the side of it, which we don't want to do. So this top part of the stitch is the first stitch in this row. We're going to go ahead and mark it. And then now we will be starting into our extended single crochet stitch that we want to learn here. So I'm going to insert my hook into the very next chain stitch. And I, like I said, I like to do that in the back humps. And then we will be yarning over, pulling up a loop, yarn over and pull through one, and then yarn over and pull through two. And that is the extended single crochet stitch. That's all there is to it. It looks almost knit because of the way the stitches um, rotate towards the front when we're doing the first parts, essentially a chain and then completing the stitch. So let's do that one more time. Insert my hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through one, then yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook, and that completes the extended single crochet stitch. Now I'm going to work this across for all the remaining stitches in this row, and then I'm going to come back and show you what this looks like when we turn our work and we're working it in rows. So work it all the way across and then come back. So now that we have worked all the stitches across, I'm grabbing a second stitch marker so I can keep track of the first stitch of every single row as I turn my work. So I'm going to turn my work here and now we're looking at the wrong side or the back side of these stitches. They still have a great texture so this is still a fun stitch to work in rows. Now to get started, I once again, I'm not going to do any chaining here. I'm going to do a stack single crochet instead of chains to make this a bit cleaner on the first stitch of each row. So I'm going to insert my hook into that first stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and then go back to that left bar there, insert, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two and then mark that as the first stitch of the row. And now for the rest of the stitches across, we will be doing the extended single crochet. And it's really a fun stitch. It's really just adding one more step to your traditional single crochet, but it creates a different height to the stitch and a bit of a knit look. So continue to work this stitch 
in rows until you reach the amount of fabric you would like before the border for a washcloth. So you can see how this is going to look. It's a great textured stitch. It's really fun to work up. On the right side, we can see we have almost a knit look. And on the wrong side, we have a textured look. And it is fun to do. So work that up until you have the amount of rows you would like. And then come on back. Now what I often like to do when I'm making these dishcloths is I just go till I run out of yarn and then I fasten off and I have a really decent size um, workable dishcloth. You can create borders if you want to stop a few rows short um, of this and then do a border, but I honestly like the edges of this. I think it's fine. Um, it has a nice texture to it. And this is the extended single crochet and what that fabric looks like as a whole. So it is a bit more flexible than your traditional single crochet ex stitch. The extended single crochet adds more texture and it adds more height. And it's really, really a nice textured look. You'll see this in some coming patterns on my blog. So check those out. And I hope you enjoyed learning the stitch.